Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Charlotte Middleton and I'm HealthShare's in-house GP. This month our topic for discussion is pregnancy and birth. And it's a topic that is very close to my heart. Uh, not only am I the mum of two small children, but I've also been working in maternity, neonatal and paediatric medicine for the last 17 years. So I'm particularly passionate about this topic and more than happy to answer your questions this month. So the first topic that we're going to discuss today is preeclampsia. Now Lisa, uh, one of our Facebook followers, has asked whether or not uh, she's at an increased risk of developing preeclampsia in her second pregnancy. Now just as a starter, I thought I'd talk a little bit about what actually preeclampsia is and then go into uh, the discussion about uh, second and subsequent pregnancies. So what we know is that preeclampsia is a severe pregnancy uh, disorder characterised by high blood pressure, uh, protein in the urine and severe fluid retention. It's actually one of the most common serious medical complications in pregnancy and affects around about 5 to 10% uh, of pregnancies in Australia every year. Now the mechanisms behind the condition are quite mysterious and we're not exactly sure what causes it. What we do know is that genetic factors and the placenta all can play a role in it developing. For also reasons unknown, preeclampsia tends to be uh, more common in the first pregnancy rather than second or subsequent pregnancies. And the mother's blood pressure usually will go back to uh, completely normal once the baby and the placenta are both delivered. So uh, what makes women uh, more at risk than others? Well, what we know is that women who are in their first pregnancy are more at risk. Uh, those with a family history of preeclampsia uh, pre are more at risk. Women who have diabetes, in particular insulin dependent diabetes. Women who are overweight or obese are also at increased risk. And women who have got multiple babies, so twins or, or more um, uh, during their pregnancy. Uh, now the problem with preeclampsia is that initially uh, women often have no symptoms and this is why it's particularly important that you attend all your antenatal visits so that your blood pressure and your urine can be measured for protein at each visit. If you do get uh, some symptoms, symptoms can uh, be such things as dizziness, headache, visual disturbances such as flashing lights or some pain just uh, below the ribs can all be um, an indication that something is going wrong. Now Lisa, in particular reference to your question of uh, are you at an increased risk in a second pregnancy, unfortunately the answer is yes um, and it's in the order of about 20 to 25% increased risk that your second pregnancy will develop preeclampsia. Now this percentage can either decrease or increase depending on a number of factors. So for instance, if in your first pregnancy you develop preeclampsia very early on in the pregnancy uh, or it was a particularly severe form of preeclampsia, then you are more likely to develop preeclampsia again in your second and subsequent pregnancies. If however you've been able to manage some of the risk factors that might have predisposed you to that uh, uh, preeclampsia in the first pregnancy, then you might actually reduce your risk of uh, developing preeclampsia in second or subsequent pregnancies. So what are those things, some of those things that you can help to prevent it? Well these include losing weight if you are overweight or obese, managing your diabetes, so optimising your blood sugar levels. Uh, if there's a family history of preeclampsia, perhaps asking your doctor to do some uh, clotting uh, factors or checking for any vascular um, uh, disorders. And also just generally doing a, a thorough health check, getting your blood pressure done, your kidney function tested, all before you think about getting pregnant. And all of these things will help to reduce those chances of developing preeclampsia in your subsequent or second uh, pregnancies. Uh, in terms of medications, um, there's been quite a lot of focus on complementary um, therapies. Calcium fish oil supplements, vitamin C and E and low strength aspirin have all been studied for their effects on preventing preeclampsia. So far the research shows that only potentially vitamins uh, C and E might confer some benefit but a lot more research needs to be put into that area. A potent antioxidant CoQ10 is another area of interest in this but also still needs more research. So Lisa, if you are already pregnant or you're hoping to become pregnant, I do wish you all the very best.